Friday, boys and girls. Today we are working on our spelling test 31. You should have the form in your packet. If you would get that out and a pencil and put all your other materials away. We will begin. First part, sentence dictation. Write the sentence as dictated. Observant drivers in the same vicinity should not collide. Observant drivers in the same vicinity should not collide. Now we'll be working on part two, dictation, where you have to spell each dictated word. Number one, groceries. I go to the store to buy groceries. Number two, chauffeur. When I am rich, I will have a chauffeur drive me to the store. Number three, departure. I go to the airport for my departure on my flight. Number three is departure. Number four is yacht. A yacht is a very fancy boat. Yacht is number four. Number five, immediately. Please do your work immediately. That's number five. Number six, scripture. The Bible has lots of scripture to read. Don't forget scripture needs to have something very important at the beginning. Number seven, capture. Sometimes we play capture the flag. Number seven, capture. Number eight, evangelist. Billy Graham was a famous evangelist. Number nine, especially. Please be especially careful when you do your math test. Number nine, especially. Number 10, recipe. I will use a recipe to cook my dinner. Number 11, society. Number 12, colonel. A colonel is a military officer. Number 12 is colonel. Number 13, supposed. You are supposed to do a good job on all your work. Number 13 is supposed. Number 14, the state of Oklahoma. Number 14 is Oklahoma. Number 15 is furniture. I sit on my furniture a lot now at home. Number 16, because. I love to sit on my couch because it's very comfortable. Number 16 is because. Number 17 is luncheon. I went to a woman's luncheon and had some sandwiches. Now you're gonna turn your test over to the back. Part three is spelling, where you'll be adding an IE or an EI to those three words. Part four, you'll be matching the vocabulary word with a definition. Part five, we'll be matching again the vocabulary word to its definition. And part six, we'll be writing a good sentence for the vocabulary word charity. So do your best work. Um, and turn this test in with your packet on Monday and have a great weekend.